want to give a huge shout out to Green's Toyota of Lexington for allowing me to come down to their facility and take some of their cars and listen to them today. Um, if you guys are interested in any kind of Toyota and you live in the area, definitely check out Green's Toyota of Lexington where they have endless amounts of cars, 2020 Avalons, the new Highlanders, RAV4s, you name it. Supra, I saw a Supra in the facility guys. So if you guys are in the area of Lexington, then make sure to head down to Toyota of Lexington to get your Toyota today. Okay, Pace Guy, here what's going on, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are at Green's Toyota of Lexington, where they have allowed me to take some of their cars and listen to some systems for you guys. I, I put a poll up on YouTube and asked you guys, would you guys be interested in seeing me, a home theater guy, go to local dealerships and listen to some premium car audio systems and see how they sound? And the majority of you guys said yes. So right now we are currently at Green's Toyota of Lexington, and they have allowed me the key to their 2020 Toyota Avalon Hybrid, which has the JBL premium system inside and me personally I've never heard a premium factory system we all know that all cars come with stereos and they're usually not too good but when you spend a certain amount of money you start to step into the premium audio world and so I'm here today to step into the Avalon as well as one other vehicle and we are going to listen to the JBL system together and I'm going to see you know how does car audio compare to a home theater system as far as sound quality goes subwoofer performance stuff like that so if you guys think this will be a cool video I think so too so stick around, we're gonna hop into the Avalon and see what it got. Right now we are in the 2020 Avalon Hybrid. This is the top of the line model here. Um, so this is gonna be packed with that JBL sound system that's made just for Toyota vehicles. Only Toyotas will have this JBL package. Um, later on in this video, we'll go to a different car company and listen to their system and kind of compare the two. But right now we're in the JBL system. So you're gonna be packed with, I think about 13 speakers, 1200 watt amplifier powering these speakers. And this is gonna have every bit of latest technology to give you the best sound quality possible. I believe the door speaker is about six and a half inch speakers and then you have some tweeters on the uh, top of the dash um, so you're gonna have a lot of sound to envelop you in this car to help with that whole quality feeling so I have the key right now to power it on so what we're gonna do we're not gonna do a whole review of the radio itself and what it does but more so we're gonna just listen to it and see how it sounds so all JBL systems will have Sirius XM if you want that package there you have satellite radio you have Spotify um, Android Auto um, iPhones, whatever you guys have, it's gonna have everything in that infotainment center. It is touchscreen, of course, with a few buttons to get to where you need to go. So this should be a pretty premium feeling sound system. Um, so we need to go ahead and power it up and take a listen and see what we think. I have selected some non-copyright music that I would use in my home theater. I have some of that here today. So we're gonna connect this to Bluetooth and we're gonna play a few bits of songs together. Um, I'll put you inside the car with the door closed to get a good idea of how it sounds. I did bring my stereo mic with me um, so we'll take a listen together see how it sounds and then we'll move on to another vehicle all right guys so we had to switch toyota avalons because one of them that i was in was actually dead <laughs> the battery was dead so we're in the same car though the limited or hybrid avalon so i have the sound system going i have my bluetooth paired up and so before I get started with the music, what I wanted to just go ahead and say right now is that um, there are some speakers in the dash, not just the two in the A pillars, but there are several right across the front of the dashboard um, that help with what they have called surround sound. So it's actually gonna try to give you that whole spatial feeling inside the car. Now I did play a couple audio tracks just to get an initial hearing of it. Um, and we'll talk about what I heard in just a moment after we let you guys listen to it. But um, just for references, I had the treble, the mid and the bass levels all at zero or right there at even um, so we're not gonna play with that just yet I want to hear what the car sounds like with no adjustments and then I'll kind of play with, with the, the sliders and see exactly what they what they do to the sound so let's go ahead I got some a few songs here copyright non copyright music here I'm gonna play a few songs and we'll see just how they sound <laughs> Almost 
All right, so I'm gonna go in and turn up the treble to where I think it should be, leave mid bass the same, and change the bass. We're gonna turn that up. And we're gonna play with that during this song next and see what this does to the system. So let's go ahead and play. Sound off. Surround sound on. Surround sound off. very impressed with the JBL sound system. It has that Clarify uh, technology which restores uh, older soundtracks or soundtracks that weren't necessarily recorded in the highest quality. Clarify goes in and restores some of that missing um, detail in the high end and probably mostly in the bass as well. And honestly guys, I'm actually very, very impressed with this JBL system in here. Now there is a setting on here for surround sound um, and it sounded much worse when it was on than it did when it was off. Because when I had it on, all you were hearing was like that front stage on top of the dash there. I couldn't really hear any door speakers and I couldn't hear the rear speakers at all. But when I turned the surround off, I actually got more of a surround sound. Um, whenever I was listening to it with surround sound off, I was more able to hear the rear speakers, which gave me that surround sound feeling and it sounded so much better. Now, I went in and tweaked the settings in the uh, audio, the mid bass, the, the bass and the treble. I turned the treble just about all the way up and that brought back a lot of clarity for me. Mid, I jumped it up maybe one or two notches because it was actually pretty close to where it should be. But the bass, I was very impressed with. Now I cranked this up pretty loud <laughs> and it sounded pretty good. Mirrors were shaking um, and no distortion. I think it was like the max like 60 or so. I put it around 45 to 51 at times and I heard zero distortion in the speakers. The bass is present for sure. Um, so honestly, guys, if you get a JBL system in your car, you should have no wants to upgrade it to a, a, a fa or, or aftermarket sound system. It's absolutely not necessary. This sounds good straight out of factory. Um, you may need to play for treble, mid, and bass, but this sounds phenomenal for a car system. Now, it's not gonna blow an aftermarket car stereo away as far as the bass goes, but clarity is definitely there. It's definitely there. Um, so JBL system, I'm gonna give it eight and a half out of 10. Only places that I would probably, um, I would improve on is when you do turn that bass up close to max, then you start to hear like a lot of bloatedness, a little bit of muffledness, but when you keep it just a little bit away from all the way up or even kind of midway through, you get a very clean, accurate sound. And I was very impressed. The clarity in voices is very good too. The tweeters are not harsh whatsoever. They sound pretty good. So I'm absolutely convinced by the JBL system. And again, this is my first time hearing it. So it's my honest truth. Um, and I'm using my home theater at, at home as a reference point. Um, so this sounds absolutely incredible. So we're gonna give the keys back to the Avalon. I think there's a Mercedes over here. We're gonna go jump in the Mercedes real quick.
All right, guys, we are in front of a 2016 Mercedes C300. I have personally never been in a Mercedes. This is actually gonna be so cool for me personally, but we gotta keep it car audio related. So we're gonna hop in here. We're gonna try to figure out how to use the sound system, get Bluetooth connected, and then we're gonna play those same songs we heard in an Avalon. But before we get into the vehicle, we do need to talk about what this system is, what it uses, how many speakers, how much power, and then we're gonna compare it to the JBL system and see just how good um, one is against the other. Now the Mercedes C-Class, this is what this one is, uses 15 different speakers, 14 being regular speakers and then the one speaker being a subwoofer that's hidden below the dashboard in the center. Now these speakers are located in the center dash, the front doors have tweeters, also some speakers, the rear deck corners have speakers, the rear doors have speakers and tweeters, as well as that subwoofer there. Now here's what's really interesting about this package here. These speakers that are inside this car are three and a quarter inch, or excuse me, three and, a, three and a half inches. So they're actually a very small speaker. So I'm really interested in seeing what these can do by themselves because I, when you have a small speaker, you kind of know that you're not gonna get a lot of bass out of it. Um, so I'm interested to see how this is gonna sound compared to the JBL that had six and a half inch speakers because um, it did not have a subwoofer in that car. Um, but this car does have a subwoofer and doesn't tell me the size of it. So I'm not sure how big it is, but it's going to have to do a lot of work to make up for the small size of these drivers in these doors. So let's go ahead and get inside and uh, inside the system here and let's see if we can connect the Bluetooth and get some music going. All right, guys, so like I told you, there's about 15 speakers in this car and all of them are three and a half inches big. So if you guys are familiar with home theater, we know that three and a half inch speakers usually don't produce very much bass at all. Um, so we're probably going to hear a lot of subwoofer. Now I'm going to do what we did in the Avalon, play some music. I'm not going to touch the settings. I'm keep them all at zero or flat. And then as I hear it, I'm going to go and tweak it to what I think it should be. And then we'll listen to how it affects the sound. Now, mind you, this is a Mercedes Benz. So you're expecting a certain level of class. The Avalon, I think right now with all its specs and everything, all of it decked out was about a $40,000 car. I'll tell you what this one is in a moment. Um, but this car should perform better than the Avalon. Now, Avalon uses or Toyota, Toyota uses the GBL, JBL system, the premium sound system. Mercedes uses the Harman Kardon system. Um, so we're we're gonna take a listen right now and see exactly what I think. All right, so we're set up to the stereo microphone and I got the Bluetooth set up. Now this car uses a touch pad. This screen here is not something you can touch, but it does have a touch pad at the bottom here and it's actually more confusing to use than a standard radio. I actually hate it, but I figured it out. Um, you control your volume down here as well. Um, I got the songs playing and ready to go. So let's go ahead and get a demo. I have the, um, the equalizer set to flat or to zero. So there's no extra boost or takeaway on the sound system. It's just natural sound so let's go ahead and play the same song as we did before let's test them out So we're gonna play that same song that I did in the Avalon that I was very impressed with. Um, it has a lot of bass, a lot of high end as well mixed into it. 
Um, so I'm going to see how that performs. I'm going to go in and play with the equalizer as well as I listen to it. And so I can get a good idea of what times it distorts, if it handles the power very well, how loud it gets, all that stuff. So let's go in and play that same song. We'll turn it up a little bit and play with the, uh, the audio sliders. So here we go. vehicle here the Mercedes C300 uh, man compared to the JBL system we just heard it, it's not really a contest is our clear winner um, the JBL system is far better what plagues the Harman Kardon system and this is constant with all hardened Kardon systems that I've heard the higher you turn the volume the more distortion you get and the less the bass starts to go up and this is common with all factory cars not even premium system but factory cars in general when you start to turn up the volume, you start to hear less and less bass. And that's because um, the factory, or the manufacturer is trying to protect their small little speakers. And like I said, three and a half inch speakers, you're not getting any help in the bass region. Um, treble sounds very good, although I have to turn that up all the way to max, which is 10, um, to really get clarity out of it. Um, so you, if you have a Mercedes or a Harman Kardon system, you probably need to turn your treble all the way up to restore um, a lot of that detail that I was not hearing before I had changed the settings. Settings. The mid bass was different though. Um, I turned it all the way down to negative 10 all up to positive 10. I didn't really hear any real difference, but I found a good smooth sweet spot at around positive two. That sounded pretty um, chesty, but not too bloated and muffled sounding. And it really didn't affect the subwoofer too much either. Now that bass knob, you wanna keep that no higher than one. Uh, I cranked this up to full volume and it wasn't really loud compared to the JBL system. It didn't really get loud compared to that. Um, it was definitely, you know, for most people, it is a good enough volume to be happy with, um, but it, it did not shake any mirrors. It didn't rattle any teeth, nothing like that. And like I said, the higher I turned the bass, the bass didn't increase, but the distortion level did. So you're really seeing the difference in power between the JBL system System and the Harman Kardon system. And again, this is um, true to all Harman Kardon systems because I've heard them in the uh, the Coopers, the Mini Coopers. They use the Harman Kardon system as well, and it just does not impress me at all. The higher you turn it, it stops turning up, the subwoofer maxes out, and it just sounds like a whole bunch of distortion. Even at lower to mid volumes, the uh, three and a half inch speakers had some distortion to them, especially in my right ear on the right side. That may be just specific to this car, but even, um, even at moderate listening levels, there was a lot of crackliness in the sound. Um, I didn't have that in JBL, even at high volume. So it just uses the Harman Kardon system, and it's good. Again, this is a premium system. System. So people who drive cars like this aren't looking to you know put a freaking sound system in their vehicle So they get a really good one out of the box But that JBL system in the Toyotas is just far better. It's just far better You can turn it louder. It rattles your teeth and it shakes the mirrors and everything the doors and there's no Distortion zero distortion the Harman Kardon system just not good enough Although I will say that the Avalon is using the 2020 is 2020 Avalon versus 2016 So there's probably some um, Enhancements since then but um, let me tell you what the price of the Avalon cost versus the price of the Mercedes so you guys can see you know maybe the radio should be better for the money. Now the Toyota Avalon that price tag right now for a 2020 hybrid is around $41,000, $42,000 with the JBL premium system inside. The Mercedes right now 2016 Qs you can get around $31,000, $32,000 for most people but retail price back in 2016 you could expect this car to be around $50,000, $55,000, $60,000. 
Now I know when you buy a car, you're not necessarily buying it for the sound system, but in this particular case, we want to get a sound system that sounds just as good as the price tag does. But I have to give one more thanks to Green's Toyota of Lexington and especially Dwight Couch for allowing me to come here and bother them for a couple hours. They have no idea who I am, what I'm doing, why I'm here, but they had open arms and invited me into their facility and let me test these cars, listen to their sound systems, crank them up a little bit, and uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. It's my first time doing this for anybody, so this is a great experience. Again, if you guys are in the area, please look at Green's Toyota of Lexington. They are fantastic. That's in Kentucky, that is. They are fantastic here everybody was had a smiling face was happy to help me and i uh, had a great time so let's go to the infinity and test out one more system and i'll tell you which one's the best out of all right guys so we are outside my mom's house and she has like i told you guys she has an affinity qx60 which uses the bose system and i've heard a lot of bose systems in the past other vehicles and a lot of manufacturers use the bose system i think it's actually one of the better ones on our market now home theater guys we all kind of know that bose has a bad history they're not too bad nowadays but we all know bose isn't or used to be not always the best product but when it comes to the car audio i think bose actually has a pretty good stamp in the car industry um, so we're going to hop up into the affinity QX60, which uses the Bose system. Um, if you have a QX60, you can either have a 13 or a 15 speaker system. I believe my mom had it fully specced out. So what we're gonna do, same thing as the last two cars, we're gonna hop in, take a look at the settings, make sure that the EQ set the flat, play the same songs, and then I'll, at the end of the video, let you guys know which one I think is the best out of the three systems that we heard. All right, guys, so like I said, the Infinity has the Bose sound system with 15 speakers in here, and they're different the way they're laid out. Of course, you have that front strip there that has most of the speakers, and then the A-pillar has the tweeters, but each door will also have um, some six by nines as well. And then there are some speakers in the third row for anybody who may sit back there. Now, let's go ahead and play some songs. I have the same songs again ready to go. Let's play those same songs. We're gonna listen to them with the equalizer all the way on flat so nothing's been adjusted. Listen to it, how it sounds. And then again, at the end, I will go in and play with the sliders and see what we get. felt more like a winner than I do tonight Never more certain the path laid before me was right guys so we're gonna go to that same song that we did the last two tests we're gonna go ahead and fire up the settings here get into the audio section where we can change um, the bass treble and all that good stuff we're gonna play it for a little bit play around with the sliders and then we'll see what we get from there so let's fire it up Thank you. 
All right, so what do I think about the Bose system in the Infinity? It's actually pretty good. It's better than the Harman Kardon, but it's not better than the JBL. And here's why. Um, so with the JBL system, of course, on all three cars, you had that surround set up in the front dash with the center channel in the middle. All cars had that. Only the JBL system did you have the option to kind of have a surround sound mode or to turn it off. And in this vehicle, I wish I had the ability to turn it off because all my sound was coming straight from the window, from the windshield. I didn't hear any real vocals or any kind of anything from the door speakers, either in the front, the back, or in the third row seating. And so it left all of my imaging right here in the front. So I had a lack of stereo presence in every song that I played in here. Now, let's talk about the bass. That's a big indicator of if the premium system is truly premium or not, how good the subwoofer is. And this subwoofer is pretty good, honestly. If you can see the slider, I kept it at negative one out of like positive six, negative six. I kept it at negative one because that's where the bass sounded the least boomiest, but still had enough body and presence with it. And um, when I started to turn that slider up towards four, five, and six is when you really heard the boominess. And I believe the subwoofer is located in the back, um, which is good. You want to kind of be away from you to fill the cabin up with space or with, with uh, air space. Um, but it just didn't sound good when you started getting to the higher numbers. It just sounded boomy and bloated, which is honestly a characteristic of Bose systems in home theater and in car audio. Um, but overall, it sounded pretty good. Now the treble, this one was a different one here. So I had it at zero at first and it sounded pretty good. But I was missing something, but I had to crank it all the way up to max. And that's when I really heard the tweeters come alive, which really helped me with a little bit of stereo separation. Um, and I was able to hear the high end much, much better. Cause other than that, without that treble, it sounded like nothing but bloated music. Um, that's obviously not something you want to listen to. Um, but those tweeters, once you max that treble out to the, the highs it can go, that's when the car started to come alive. Now, again, there's no tweeters in the front other than in the a pillar so all your music all your sounds coming from the front window and there's really nothing going on in the back seat um so you don't hear anything but what's coming from the window and it really distracted me from the music i just did not hear much um, it does get loud not anywhere near as loud as the jbl system and then not it does get louder than a harman kardon system with minimal distortion but for me i just my i didn't have a good time it sounded good for most people but um with the background that i have it just didn't sound like it was supposed to, like I would want it to being a 15 speaker system I only heard about three or four speakers <laughs> um, but overall it sounded really good um, so let's get outside the car because it's hot and we'll talk about um, what I think about all three and what I think about premium systems in general all right guys so I had a lot of fun shooting these videos again thank you so much to Toyota of Lexington Greens Toyota for allowing me to come to their facility and pretty much toy around with whatever car I wanted to special thanks to Dwight Couch their social media networker who allowed me to come in out of nowhere and just go and view their sound system so special thanks to you guys especially it's my mom for letting me bombard her house i just came out of nowhere and said mom i need your car <laughs> she pulled out of the garage for me and gave it to me but guys honestly premium systems are premium systems when you start to spend a certain amount of money you do expect a certain level of luxury and that's no joke when you get into the infinity the mercedes they're all really good sound systems but for me i really like the jbl system in the toyotas because they seem to get really loud they sound clear the clarity is there the technology is there and then my second favorite is the bose system because bose has always been good in in car audio not so much for home audio, as we know, um, but car audio, I think that's where their, their best stamp is at. And then the Mercedes, the um, the Mini Coopers, they use the Harman Kardon system. I've just never been a fan of those. They, do, they don't sound much better than a factory radio from like maybe a Honda or, you know, something small like that, a Hyundai. Um, but these cars right here really do have really good, really good sound systems. So guys, if you're looking for cars based off of audio for some reason, now you guys have my take on it. But this is just a fun video just to take a listen, step out of the home theater world and into the car audio world and see what things sound like. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know based off what you heard, which one was your favorite? Was it the JBL system in the toy? Toyota, the Bose system in the Infinity, or was it the Harman Kardon in the Mercedes? Let me know down below in the comment section. Leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. We will see you in the next video. K-Pace guy out. Peace.